Hey everybody, I'm Mike DiCepoli and welcome to the Heritage Market Balls for Friday, November 5th, 2021. Hope you had a great week. A lot to talk about here in a short period of time. We had a big week for the markets. A lot of news moving events we want to discuss with you today, talk about what their impact might be as we move ahead. Uh, let's start with markets in general. Markets are higher on the week. We've had a nice rally this week. Uh, markets showing some green here today on a Friday on the backs of this morning's jobs report. So we got the monthly employment report. Uh, which is covering coming out in November, covering the month of October. This one particularly important because the previous month's jobs report that we got about 30 days ago uh, was very weak and missed expectations by a wide margin. Uh, today's report showed 531,000 new jobs. This is against expectation of 450,000. So again, we didn't make up that big gap of 300,000 jobs that were missing last month, but at least we're seeing some job growth above trend. Uh, economists will like to see that and it looks like wages uh, remain unchanged for the month of October. Uh, that was this morning's jobs report. Obviously weekly unemployment claims we get every Thursday. We watch those to see where the trends are going. But at least we didn't get two consecutive months of um, less than expected job growth. So that's a good thing. The big news of the week happened on Wednesday, right? We had a two day policy meeting, Federal Reserve policy meeting that covered Tuesday and Wednesday. The Fed meets once a month um, and on off months, we get a press conference from them. So on Wednesday, we heard from Federal uh, Reserve Chair Jerome Powell. There had been much anticipation and expectation that the Fed would have slight policy adjustments this week and that's exactly what we got. So there's basically two main tenets to monetary policy right now. We have interest rates and we have something they call quantitative easing, which is essentially monthly open market purchases in the bond market. Okay, So we had no change on interest rates, which was expected. The Fed sees interest rates staying at zero for a very long time. Uh, probably not, in our estimation, it could be a year before we see any change there. But the other side of that monetary policy tenant is quantitative easing, right? They spend $120 billion a month in the open markets to buy different types of bonds to cause economic stimulation. So if you've heard a lot this week about a term called tapering, right? This is the buzzword in the financial media that the Fed is going to start tapering. I want to make sure you understand what that means. So what the Fed has decided is to embark on this tapering policy. And tapering does not mean that we are tightening monetary policy very quickly. Okay, They are not removing all the stimulus in one shot. Tapering means essentially they are going to taper their asset purchases. So we are currently at $120 billion a month, and they will reduce those by $15 billion a month over the course of the next six months until we get that program uh, back down to its starting point, which was obviously zero pre-pandemic times. So again, we want to make sure it's clear to all of our clients out there. We don't see this as a problem for the market. We think the market was anticipating it. And the fact that the market took this in stride, we had a really nice rally on Wednesday after the news came out, uh, tells us all that you really need to know. Because it's not the news that matters, it's the market's reaction to the news that matters. And this was the type of reaction that we certainly wanted to see. Uh, in other news, in Washington, D.C., the spending bill, the infrastructure bill, continues to be debated. Uh, still no clear signs that there's going to be enough votes to pass that. It continues to change day by day in the terms of size and scope. Um, and I'm sure the elections earlier this week may have some impact on those negotiations. And the last thing is news this morning we got from Pfizer. Uh, they believe they have successfully tested in a, in a small test group uh, a pill treatment for COVID-19. I believe it's a combination of previous uh, HIV medications and a couple other um, scientific developments that they've brought together here. They believe that it will reduce the likelihood of hospitalization and death. So anytime we get good news relative to ending this pandemic, we certainly like to hear that. The markets like to hear that. Uh, so that's something that'll bear watching to see if that is a treatment that makes its way um, to be available to the American public. So again, just wrapping it up, nice week for the markets. We're seeing the exact activity that we want to see. This market's really firming up as we enter the best seven weeks of the year uh, in just a short period of time. We also are in the best seven months of the year, which we've spoken about. So we're seeing a lot of seasonality trends align. Corporate earnings have been very strong this earnings season thus far. And when you now take consideration that this whole narrative about the Federal Reserve 
overhanging the market that they might do something to screw this up. Uh, we think that goes to the sidelines for now. So all things pointing in the right direction. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We're always here to talk to you about anything on your mind. Hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend, and we'll see you back on Monday for the Heritage Market Minute. Take care.